Got the eyes of tiger. <laughs> right, got to find platform 7B. Right, platform 7B. Oh, slowly, slowly. Time's up. I'm just starting, uh, going to rip ride the length of Wales from uh, Hollyhead ferry terminal to uh, which goes to uh, Republic of Ireland and riding all the way down to either Newport or Cardiff. Uh, so, riding the length of Wales basically. Not steps, you're taking the piss. <laughs> I thought it was steps then. <laughs> so, yeah, welcome to my video. Um, I might be taking some food deliveries on the way, but I'm carrying quite a big pack, so maybe not in this town, but one on the way. Maybe if I stop at a campsite and just do some food deliveries on the way, who knows? I've got a food bag. Two, two bags to put uh, delivery food in, but I'm carrying quite a bit of a load as I said. Okay, so now I'm actually heading towards the uh, start of the hike. Not hike, bike trail I should say. It's a bit further away than I thought. This is it. I'm sure this is it. Right folks, we've started my journey. From here this is where it starts, I guess. This is where it shows on the map anyway. Uh, so from Hollyhead, top of Hollyhead by Holly, not too far from Hollyhead, uh, Ferryport that goes to, as I said, to Republic of Ireland. Went there many years ago, brings back a lot of memories, actually good memories. Um, and from here, I'm heading down on a bike trail. I can't pronounce the name of it. Oh, it's going to be in the titles. Um, it's about 420 kilometres in length. And I'm either going to end up in Cardiff or Newport or Chepstow. I've not decided which yet. So, folks, I am on my way. There's a train station I just come from. <laughs>
I don't know what this place is, but it's kind of like a folly castle or something. Thanks. <laughs> Cricket club, yeah. Looks like a disused farm or something. It's a shame. Maybe the Cricket Club owns it now. So, I'm at uh, Turncliffe Seat. And there's the seat. Right, time for a coffee break. Double shot espresso. Wow. Don't know if I've ever actually seen one of these. This is um, a pet cemetery. There's someone's pet there called Tigger Puss, Buggy, Cow, Nicky. Bruno, I believe it's a pet cemetery. Yeah, it's a pet cemetery. Oh, bless. It's quite an old one. It's been here for a while. I don't think it's in use anymore. Oh, there's one from 2021 up there, sunny. There's some newer ones up here. Oh, bless. Oh, this is lovely. It's right by the sea on the coast, on the coast, Welsh coast path, Anglesey coast path. So this is a memorial to David Richard Williams, who was part of the Welsh Guards. He was killed in action at Buff Cove, Falkland Islands. I remember this uh, war, was it back in the 80s, like it was when Thatcher was in power. That's very sad. Well, what a memorial they, right on the uh, Welsh coast here, Anglesey coast. Right, let's get across this pretty quick. Many train bridges on the way. Yeah, it's still in use. Okay, coming up for another train bridge. And I can see the airport in the distance. I'm guessing it's the airport for the island. I don't think it's a military airport. Yeah, it might be, I don't know. Royal Air Force Valley. Wow. That's the right way. Well, it's a RAF base, not a airport, passenger airport, but there was a really cool 
sort of model, I guess, of a plane on the entrance. Really like things like that. Oh, beautiful place, actually. Oh, sort of barracks along here. The RAF. A bit quiet at the moment. They all on holiday. Right overseas, I guess. Very quiet. On that road. Honey for sale. Ah, I can't change. That's a shame. I just don't know how safe this is. The bike might collapse. I don't know if it's going to hold the weight. Doth fan. Is that right? Is that how you say it? No shop though. With the uh, tap, there's a minimum spend of five on a car. Oh, is there? Um, oh, how much is uh, well, when you're on all together? That one's really oh, okay. I'll just get grab another drink. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Uh, yeah.
picture, I guess. Just a little bit off trail. Just see this uh, church which I haven't been in. Uh, a road in a minute right Just. right look at that look at that view guys where am I going? this little turn in here oh I'm crossing a dual carriageway at the moment request because I just don't think they do it in this area they definitely don't do delivery in this area um, so I can't do that and I and it, I'd only just eat shifts for Oxford anyway so but I've got um, the Uber Eats app on and the off chance that it will beep but with uh, delivery you have to select what town you want and at the moment as I said there isn't any around here well I see a monument in the distance which I recognize Getting close to the Menine Strait. Near little while yet before we cross it. There is actually a campsite on the other side. I'm kind of tempted to get that, but I'm guessing it's going to be a ridiculous amount of money to stay there. Even if they allow tents there, it might be just ca caravans or campers, or just a caravan site. place is called. I don't know if it's that place with this crazy long name. I've been to it before. Guessing I've got to take the path. <laughs> if I don't lose anything outside my pockets. This bridge is all right. The old Menai, Menai Straits Bridge from Anglesey Island onto mainland Wales. This video is coming out all right. <laughs> I ain't doing it again. P 
beautiful day. Wow. And not one other person, not on this side anyway. I don't know if this is the bike, just the bike side and the other side's walking. But yeah. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. It could almost be a border bridge, couldn't it? But it's not. Oh. There's a campsite here, but to be honest, I don't know if it's open, it doesn't seem very busy. I'm just going to carry on, to be honest. I really want to stay at a campsite, garden centre. A bit closed. Oh, it's quite late. Coming up. It's coming up for eight o'clock actually. Fourth Manic, only 26 miles. Local bus depot. Possibly. Who knows? if I'm on the actual coast path. I'm on the road. Also, there's a coast path as well. Ah, fuck. At the moment, I'm going along the uh, Welsh coast path. This is part of it. And I don't know what this is all about. Body bench. Anybody know? It's got some uh, strange colours there. Maybe someone can enlighten me. Incredible edible flower meadow. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's literally <laughs> nowhere to camp. I'm going to have to go through this town. Oh, and the next town is... Better check. Can't say this place is filling me with joy. <laughs> Beautiful. It's a shame about the uh, the flats, but that's the same with a lot of the coast in England, Scotland. Wait, we're going up this way. Oh yeah, this is part of the coast path. That's oh, beautiful at the moment. Way. <laughs> well, it's probably the only way. Got these flats. No offence if you live there. It's sure it's nice, but fucking really, that's bloody horrible, man. I wouldn't go there. That's for sure. I'm being a snob on it. Quite nice along here, I guess. Oh, that's 
castle. Very beautiful. Well, I'm not actually going through the castle, am I? Possibly. Looks like it. Am I going up this way? Seems to be. Flags around here, don't they? I've actually been here before. Oh bloody hell! I know where I am. This is Corf. This is the uh, start of the um, Cambram Way. Oh, that's really cool. I think it is. Is it? I think go down there, and this. Um, smallest house in England. I might I might have got it wrong actually. I don't know if it is that place actually. <laughs> I'm confused now. Nah. It's not that place. Oh this is a nice place. I don't am I going the right way. Oh this is an awesome place. So beautiful. Never been here before. I thought it was I thought it was the start of the Cambrian Way, but it's not, that's another another castle. Well it's so beautiful this place actually. Apart from those flats at the start. Oh look at this old building. Wish I had more time to explore it. But I'm on a time limit. Well, look at that. Old building. Okay. So I think I'm on the right. I think I'm on the right route. I think the next major town is going to be Port Maddock. Oh, that's a really cool. Caravan. Ah, I wish I had more time to take pictures around here. It's a really beautiful place. Very unexpected. Well, it's quite a pleasant bike ride along the uh, railway track at the moment. Well, it's a road crossing to the railway track and me. On the same route, must have the right route. I think so. This is an awesome trail, man. Really enjoying it. I'm wondering whether this, this, how far this track goes. The bike uh, route goes along this track. It looks like it goes quite far. But that's cool because I can kill some miles. It's all flat at the moment, anyway. Yeah, it looks like a single track narrow gauge railway, so it's probably a tourist steam train type thing. That's got the name on the map, but I ain't got my glasses on. And <laughs> it's hard enough reading English with no glasses, let alone Welsh, as I don't. It's not my native tongue, but it's certainly in that language that interests me. I think this is a A road going over here. Yeah, it's an A road, could be a drop carriageway. I'll get closer to the hills. Might be more opportunity to camp then. Just see two hikers. Maybe this is part of the hiking trail. Not sure. I think I've been along here. But you certainly could hike it. 
Alright oh, guys, I don't know what those lights mean. Yeah, I can see a steam train, this might be, I don't know if this is the end of the line. Good old steam train there. Don't know if it's in use. It's like a station. Oh, look at that, the carriages. Look that was running today. That's pretty cool. Who gives a lift? <laughs> nah, no cheating from me. Oh, this seems familiar. I think it's quite similar to the one that's in the Lake District. That's probably why I'm thinking it's familiar. Not Lake District, uh, Dartmoor I'm thinking of. On the white right, it goes along a railway, railway line or a long railway line. Okay, I'm not actually going up here. I've just come off the trail a bit to look at this church. Wow. They're beautiful. I think quite a few I've just passed on the way. I thought I'd have a look at this one. So I'm kind of going along um, an old road. I guess this is the original road before the A road, which I'm going alongside. All right, just coming up past another little town. It's probably got a little shop, but I've got all the drinks and food I need at the moment. Got a road crossing here. over the A road, not sure what A road it is, I think I've got glasses on again as usual. I literally cannot find anywhere <laughs> to camp, but that's cool. This is why I bought my new bike light. I did want to test it out on a night ride, but to be honest, yeah, as soon as I find somewhere to camp, I'm putting the scent up, but yeah, I'm not holding my hopes up yet. Oh, the views are great. It's a shame um, I'm going to miss them if I'm riding in the dark. That's the only thing. If you ride in the dark, you miss the views. Well, the sun is, looks like it's kind of setting now over the sea in the far distance. I can just about see the sea. But this road is pretty awesome. Like, I'm not one car on it. Um, everyone's using the A road next to me. Um, so I'm guessing it's just a bike, bike route now and walking route. But um, it's been pretty much no hills on it, so it's pretty much fast going. Okay, so it looks like there's somewhere to drink in this town, which is just a little bit off route. However, I'm carrying on the bike trail down here. Well, by road, according to a sign over there, Puff Maddock, it's only 12 kilometres, but I'm not, I'm not sure how much longer this bike route is compared to the road, because obviously I'm not riding on the A road. I'm starting to get a bit more wild now. But <laughs> still no where to put a tent. Okay, so I've seen a, a path going off here in about, I don't know, two kilometres to gravel pits. Now that's looking promising place to camp if I can get the bike along the path, if it's not one of those bloody gates. That'd be an ideal place to camp probably. I did see a sign for a caravan and camping but I feel like I can camp along here somewhere. <laughs> Let's get a bit more remote. Like this tree over here. Just the side of the path, man. Seriously. It's, it's got to be somewhere along here. 